Hey everyone, we are on Saturday the 6th of November. It's a bit echoey. I'm currently on a holiday, so you'll be getting a travel vlog, but I'm going to start my monthly vlog just so I've got a start to it. So here is a sneak peek, or maybe not, maybe this is an after shot. Um, I'm not really sure what the view is at the moment because my camera is in black and white, so I'm not sure how this looks, <laughs> unfortunately. But I just wanted to do a quick sort of intro before it gets on too long and we're in the middle of the month, like October's to start. Um, apologies if my face looks a mess, I've just tried to clean up mascara off and um, I'm pretty sure it's all over my face at the moment. But like I said, my screen is currently in black and white so I can't really tell <laughs> the quality of what this looks like, but I hope it's not too bad. <laughs> everyone we are on october not october november christ can you tell i've not done any proper monthly vlog in a while we are on monday not <laughs> monday november 15th and i'm about to get ready to go and do my weekly food shopping and i just wanted to do a quick sort of hello <laughs> um my video so i've not been going so well recently i've been doing quite terribly i think i'm just having like a slump in life um, I've not really been exercising and I was going to do gym and classes and stuff like four times a week and I've done nothing for like two weeks so I think I'm just in one of those like down slumps of life so my videos are coming back at some point I don't know when <laughs> by the time this one goes up I'm hoping that I've become a bit more regular I think I'm going to do vlogmas again this year but I'm not entirely sure um, and I'm not doing nano properly but I am trying to finish I keep calling it Project Witch, which is quite accurate to be honest, but I don't know if I like that title. <laughs> I know it's not going to be the title, but it's really swift, but yeah. And I just wanted to do a quick update before I get ready and forget to be honest. Um, I don't think there's much to update on. I've been on holiday, you'll have already seen my travel vlog, <laughs> I need to just film some speaking parts for that before I do it because it was mainly just like b-roll footage because other people don't like being in videos and yeah I wasn't sure if they would appreciate me just like taking off to go and film some stuff whilst I was talking on my own so I've just done a lot of b-roll footage which is kind of nice but I now need some like context behind it um I think that's about up for an update um, I might update later on today, or I'm hopefully going to update throughout the week. I'm trying to get back into this, but you know, it's just one of the things where you kind of lose the habit of it, and yeah, it's <laughs> one of those things. Um, but I've done my update, and that's two in November, and I'm getting close to how many I did in October, although that video has not gone up yet. Um, I've not even put August's monthly vlog up yet, even though <laughs> I started compiling that and editing it and I just never got around to it. <clears throat> so the plan is to try and get everything done and get these all updated and uploaded um, before December. But like I said, we're on the 15th and I need to put up the other videos. So some of my vlogmas videos may just be like the old monthly vlogs. So apologies in advance. <laughs> Hey everyone, we are on Saturday, November the 20th. Look at me remembering the date. Um, I have just had my fairy loot box, so I have filmed a very scruffy fairy loot unboxing because fairy loot is not meant to be planned. It's like these vlogs. It's not like peak looking great. <laughs> Although the last bunch of videos I've batch filmed, no makeup, my face is very blotchy. I ju I'm just doing like, this is who I am as a person, deal with it sort of views. Um, which I think is probably the healthiest way to do this. But I just wanted to show some of the things that I've got from this because it's absolutely amazing. Apologies for the messy room. So I've got a little bamboo travel mug, which yeah, admittedly it's smaller than the one I currently use, but I can I definitely think I can take that to Costa and have like little copies in there. Um so if I do any reading or writing in a coffee shop, which I really want to do, it's like one of those things I want to do. I'll feel like a proper author <laughs> when I go and write in a coffee shop. So I'm gonna take that with me. Um We've got some little washi tape, which is amazing. And I think the thing I'm most excited about is this little reading journal. I have not got one of these. And I was looking for one last year, and then I thought, oh, I probably won't use one. But the fact that I've been given it for, for free is so much better because I'm actually more likely to use it. <clears throat> uh, just because it's beautiful, more than anything. So I am... Um, <laughs> 
just sort of like tidying up the start. I am trying to do some house tidying. I've got a bag of things I'm trying to get rid of. I need to go through all my books and um, decide which books I want to keep and which books I want to get rid of. I've already got a pile. Um, let me just kind of show you. So they're hidden. <laughs> but there's a pile of books and those ones as well. Yeah, so those are my books that I um, eventually want to get rid of. Am I ever going to sell them, donate them, give them to like a charity shop or the library or a school library, something like that. Um, I'm not sure if I've got any that are like age appropriate for schools, but I think I've got some that are potentially good for secondary schools, although I don't know if secondary schools do uh, school libraries anymore. Um, what else is there? Yeah, it's just like, just like general tidying. I, we want to move, so if I can reduce the amount of things that I own now, it will definitely help and also I've got loads of fairy loot things that I don't particularly use or want to display there's like loads of like little display things so I think I'm gonna chuck them on eBay or somewhere just like quite cheap because I'm <laughs> I don't want my money back sort of thing um I mean it'd be nice but the amount I've spent on fairy loot there's no way I can get my money back from the like artwork and stuff so I'm just gonna chuck it up and be like couple of quid, pay some postage, <laughs> make sure that this is sent to someone, um, yeah that sort of thing. So I'm, that's my plan, I need to edit my fairy loot video and put that up today because I've got it so quickly. I don't think anyone else has got that video up and I know that it's better to get that up as soon as possible just because then when people are looking for it they can see it straight away. I try not to show any spoilers in my thumbnail um, in case anyone on my who subscribed to me has got a fairy loot box and it's not turned up yet. <sighs> but. So far, I'm having a productive few days. I've batch filmed six videos, I think it was on Wednesday. Yeah, I've batch filmed six on Wednesday. I edited one and uploaded it on Thursday. I've edited one today already. So I've done my fairy loot. I need to edit and upload that today. Um, I was gonna put the one I edited up tomorrow, but I might leave that now. This is the problem with fairy loot, like completely screws with all my plans. So I might put that one up Wednesday. Then I've got another one that I want to do, which would have gone up on Wednesday. But I might put it up on Sunday, but it's not a video that I feel like is a Sunday video. Ugh, it's so confusing because like, I like to keep book things on Sundays. <laughs> and that one is not a book video. It's my uh, August Lineal, because I've not put that up yet. But I'm tempted to do that just because I need to get it out of the way. Um, either that or I leave it and it just goes into one of my pre-filmed <laughs> vlogmas videos because I'm attempting vlogmas, I can't remember if I mentioned I'm going to attempt vlogmas, it's going to be a mix of pre-filmed, so like my monthly vlogs um, norm and then it's going to be like daily vlogs as well so I've got my birthday booked off work so I'm potentially going to Lincoln Christmas Market and yeah, I'm hoping to do like a daily vlog of that day, if I do um, I've got my travel vlog I need to put up from when I went away to Spain. Um, I think I've got enough done for that. I just need to film it, uh, uh, edit it together. And then there's like, just like little things like that. I've got all these like little plans that I want to sort out. Um, so that is currently my plan. I just wondered why that uh, bubble wrap looks blue and I've remembered it's because Todd bought a, a recyclable version of bubble wrap, so. That is the life we lead now. <laughs> um, but I think that's it. I just need to do some like mini tidying in this room, sort it out, and go and edit this video and get it uploaded pretty much as soon as possible, to be honest. But that is my day so far. And I know that I'll be checking back in on the month. Oh, NaNoWriMo is going terribly. <laughs> I think I'm at like 36,000 words of this book. I'm. So the thing is, I've not got many chapters left to write. I think out of the 32, I've maybe got six chapters left to like put something down in so I'm gonna just try and chuck words in where I can um, and just try and boost it because the idea is to have the first draft done by the end of this month so I've got 10 days I think I can do it technically if I do 2,000 words a day I can write 20k words but I've not done anything today so Maybe today and tomorrow, I like get some words down and we'll see where it goes from there. But yeah, I'm trying so bad to get this finished because December I want to outline my trilogy, which sounds terrifying. I have no idea how to outline and I don't know how to outline a trilogy, but I know there's no way I can write this trilogy without knowing how the ending of the trilogy is supposed to go. And I don't know that ending. So 
even if I can just figure that out. I've tried a couple of times to like sort of plan it. So I've got like three main characters, obviously, because that's how I write. I don't know why. Maybe one day I'll branch out from that. Um, so I'm thinking each book will be like the turmoil of one character. Um, but I'm not sure yet. But that's the plan for December, not to write, just to outline. And then in January, I'm gonna <laughs> start my edits for Project Witch and hopefully get that done. So I just wanna re edit that and like get my second draft done. I wanna find like some writer people who I can send it to and be like, hey, can you read this a chapter at a time, sort of thing? And I'll do the same for them. I wanna get like proper writing friends and I don't know how and I just feel really awkward. So if anyone watches this video and wants to be my writing friend, let me know <laughs> leave me a comment go on my social media drop me a message email me whatever just go hey lauren i will be that writing friend that you want <laughs> um because i just i feel like i need more eyes on it i think i'd be more confident with my writing um and probably less judgmental of my editor uh, because i liked the editor that i used for artifact 299 but i definitely do not believe them when they say that i'm a good writer and i think that's just because i've not had enough people like critically read my work um so yeah i just need some critical thinking on this work and on my writing and i will do the same for other people just to um just to get that out there but i just need people who read what i write yeah <laughs> anyway i'm gonna go so i can uh, actually be productive instead of filming for 30 minutes everyone we are on november the 30th we're on the final day of november and this means i'm closing out my november monthly vlog i don't think i will be adding anything else if i do it will be snapshots of the cinema tonight when i go um but yeah november has been a weird month um i went on holiday i have not finished my writing projects that i wanted to do i've gone through I think I've finished five books though this month, so doing well. And I've got two that I want to finish, but I don't know if I'll get them done today. One of them is a long way to a small like planet by Becky Chambers, and I'm looking at it right now. It's about halfway through, um, so I'm not sure if I'll finish that in time. Um, but I've also decided I'm doing Vlogmas, so I need to try and do a mini plan of that, of how I want to do it. I think I'm just going to do the 25 days rather than the full month, just because <laughs> it was a lot of work last year to try and do, and I know I didn't hit all of the days. Um, I've got a few ideas, I need to film a couple today and also edit a couple today so that I've got some done in advance, because um, I'm not prepared, but when am I? <laughs> um, I just thought I would come on and do a quick sort of rounded out of the month. I don't really have much to update on because I don't like, because this isn't a reading vlog, there's no like books to update on, um, just life things really. Um, I didn't film any of the snow that we had this weekend because <laughs> I did not leave my house, it was freezing. I am not doing that to myself. Um, uh, yeah, I don't think there's much else to update on. This is probably also going to be a really small monthly vlog. I recently just put my August one. Yep, August is November. Um, and that was on like 23 minutes long. So I've not really been updating these as much as I wanted to. The plan was that these would be more encompassing and I'd have more information in them. But in reality, I am a little bit awkward <laughs> um, in the sense that I don't want to film whilst I'm out. Um, yeah, so there's that that I'm trying to deal with. There's also stuff going on that I don't really want to mention too much. Um, oh, my nose. You know, just because some things are okay to keep more private until they need to be mentioned, I guess. Um, but yeah, so there's been a lot of stuff like going on in the background that's taking up a lot of bandwidth. I have uploaded more videos this month than I have in the past couple of months. So I think I'm slowly getting back on track. I have got, I think it's 10 days off over Christmas, which I am looking forward to. And I think I'm on 47, 45, 47 books read so far this year. So I'm gonna have to read like 13 to 15 books in December. But last year I read 12 books in December. 
So, going by that, I might be able to actually hit my 60 book target, although it's going to be like a very top heavy month, uh, a top heavy view for December. Um, I'm going to compile uh, my best of lists as well, um, a little bit more in advance, because I think I put like a worst books video up in like February, March <laughs> this year. Um, but I've read more and I think I'm getting more back into that reading groove. I'm not reading as much as I'd like, um, but I think that's because I'm doing lots of other things. I've realised that I can't read as much as I want to if I want to write as much as I want to, um, which is frustrating. And because I've got a full-time job, it's not like I've got time to sit and read at different times of the day. I'm kind of cramming everything in at once. So yeah, this is, this is a really weird angle. I'm like sat with my phone down. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't remember if I've really done too much this month. I'm going to uh, plan out my next year. So I've made a writing chart of everything that I want to write next year. Um, I've bought a big wall planner and I'm going to try and plan in uh, when to get things done. I am really tempted to book an editor um, for Project Witch for developmental edits um, so that I've got to <laughs> to like give me a deadline so like I've got to write it and then I've got to leave it and then I've got to re-edit it and give it like some time to breathe and stuff because December I was going to outline my trilogy that I've been wanting to write since I was 14 so a good 16 years <laughs> but this idea has been such doing in my brain and would you believe it I still don't know how it ends um, so I kind of want to like plan out my ideas for that so that I've got something it might work out that that ends up not being a trilogy um, but <laughs> with the way that I seem to write <laughs> I think it might fit well for a trilogy but that was the plan for December, but I don't know if I need a full month to just outline, but I don't know how much my outline is going to be. I know some people outline and like put thousands of words down, whereas I just like bullet point things. And I do have, I think it's 40,000 words written for the first book for that already. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to, I've got like five chapters still to finish your project, which they've got nothing in them. I've wrote my interesting scene that I was really excited for and I changed it slightly. I need to go through and work out um, some bits that I've put in but I think I'm just going to try and write a few hundred words for the chapters missing so I know where the idea is and if maybe I get the words down I'll have more of an idea of how to uh, resolve the issues and like get it to where it needs to be. I think I'm going to move things around a little bit as well because um, I've definitely put some information in a chapter <sighs> And it's definitely in the wrong place, but you know, that's the <laughs> that's the world we live in, putting things in the wrong place. Um, but I am excited because I've got so little left to do. I just need to try and find the time to do it. And like I said, I'm going to the cinema tonight, so I've not got much time between uh, work and then because I need to eat as well. And then when I get back, I'm not going to do anything probably. So I'm going to have to try and cram as much as I can into my lunch <laughs> which is going to be an interesting lunch to say the least but I'm excited I think I can do it and I'm determined and yes I'm sat with uh, my bookshelf look this is my wonderful statue my sister bought me a couple of years ago I love it so much but I don't really have anywhere to put statues so that's the only thing I've got um on my bookshelf because you know why not this is some of the books that I have not read <laughs> um but yeah, I am excited to see how December goes and I'm also excited to get this story finished. I'm so close to getting those ideas down. I also need to figure out how to market because my book has not sold a lot of copies. So if you want to buy Artifact 299, there'll be a link in the description. Um, but yeah, I've not really got a lot of ideas of how I want this to go. Um, I don't know where that sentence is going then. That was like my subconscious just like telling me something. <laughs> so I'm not I'm not really sure how I want Vogmas to go and I have a couple of ideas of how I want the story to go but I'm not really sure how it's gonna go in total. So I need to just sit and force myself to do some writing. But I think I've got that. I think I'm like back in the swing of things. I don't know, I feel like I had a couple of months where I just felt overwhelmed by everything. And I think uh, publishing the book and trying to do everything else was the overwhelming part which is good to know so it means that next time i'll have more of an idea of what i need to do and i'll need to like factor in some more like right instead of 
trying to do this like going on walks and stuff you know like just to wake yourself up instead of just being sat in the same seat <laughs> for hours every day but i am excited to see how it all goes i just wanted to actually close out a vlog properly so i hope that you enjoyed november's monthly vlog i can't really remember what i filmed so far in this month <laughs> the joys of going back to edit and going oh that's how my mum went um if there's anything you want to see in my monthly vlogs, if you would like me to add in more b-roll, if you would like me to try and film more outside, although I've not really been going anywhere, I have got a couple of vlogs that I am excited to be doing during uh, Vlogmas, so keep your eyes peeled for those, um, which should have a bit more outsidiness in it. But yeah, let me know any suggestions you've got in the comments down below. I love to hear from you. I love to read the comments that I get. It's always nice to see that someone <laughs> has watched the video and has taken something away from it. Um, but if you liked this video, don't forget to like it and don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. In December, there will be a video for the first 25 days of the month. Otherwise, there will be a video every single week. I hope you're well and you're all staying safe. And until next time, bye!